In our videos, we often review both engineering novelties and the fascinating history of a particular plane. We have already talked about the fastest, lightest, most expensive, and even the most unique. But we forgot one crucial criterion in the aviation world – safety. There is one particular plane that has a bit of all the aforementioned properties, but excels in ultimate safety. It all began in 1980 when Austrian aircraft designer Wolf Hoffmann founded a new company called Hoffmann Flugzeugbau. Here's a little German lesson for you. Flugzeugbau basically means aircraft manufacturing. So, in English, it would sound something like Hoffmann's Aircraft Manufacturing Company. From the very start, their goal was clear and loud. Conquer European general aviation with light, safe and modern aircraft. Well, easier said than done. But pretty soon, Hoffman showed their first aircraft, H-36 Daimona. And you know what? This plane was just amazing. Yeah, first try, first win. Technically, it was a motorized glider, but man, the all-composite fuselage, low fuel consumption, hence the great range and excellent flying characteristics, it all made the Daimona the biggest selling motor glider in Europe of that time. Well, this much success is always tricky for a small company. Much like tech startups these days, small Hoffmann Flugzeugbau was bombarded with offers from investors and bigger conglomerates. And that's where the story becomes even more interesting. Interestingly, we hadn't mentioned the name Diamond Aircraft yet. Well, because there wasn't such a company until 1996. But how? Well, the H-36 Daimona made such a splash that Hoffman's Flugzeugbau focused solely on fulfilling new orders and even separated the manufacturing of this particular plane and renamed the branch to Daimona Aircraft. But in 1992, Hoffman's Flugzeugbau was acquired by Christian Dries, who set an even more challenging goal – conquer not only Europe, but America too. Uh, but we have a lot of uh, DF-42s now delivered already to United States. We are producing in the moment one airplane per working day. Excellent. And uh, unfortunately, we are sold out for the next 18 months. This resulted in a new facility in Canada, which in 1996 was finally renamed from Daimona to Diamond Aircraft. For the next 20 years, Diamond would conquer the hearts of thousands of pilots. First with its DA-20 Katana, an offspring of the H-36, with more power and less glide. Then the amazing DA-40 and the bigger twin DA-42. And then we have the hero of today's video, the plane that sets a benchmark even higher than any other diamond plane. And perhaps not only diamond. If the DA-20 and DA-62 had a son, it would be the DA-50. Well, pilots who are familiar with the Diamond fleet might argue, what about the DA-40? Well, what's special about the DA-50, its performance and its size? It's not just a DA-40 with retractable gear. This plane was made to impress, and it does. But we will talk about it later. First, let's get to know this bird. Well, if we would like a first impression, we would need to travel back in time to 2006 and get employed by Diamond as the DA-50 was first shown at Diamond's Christmas party. Yeah, just casually, have a Merry Christmas. Oh, and by the way, here's our new plane. It was all composite, with a low wing and T-tail fuselage, a classic of Diamond. But it was bigger than any other single-engine plane made by them. In April 2007, the DA-50 was first shown to the public at an aero show in Germany, and later shown in America. And while Diamond again received lots of inquiries, the DA-50 was still in the prototype phase. And then 2009. The global economic crisis of 2009 didn't spare general aviation, and Diamond switched its focus to the Diamond D jet, which could potentially be purchased by businesses. As time passed, Diamond got back to the DA-50 and adjusted it to the latest technology while also exploring different variants, such as pressurized and non-pressurized models, four- and seven-seat options, and even one equipped with Tundra tires. Well, finally, in 2020, the most advanced single-engine diamond plane got its certification and entered production. 
let's take a closer look at the final specs. When you compare the DA50 and DA62 side by side, you will be amazed that they are almost identical in size. Yep, the twin and single engine models are both around 30 feet long and 9 feet high, but of course, the DA50 has slightly smaller wings, 44 feet. Thanks to the composite fuselage, this bird is quite light, which allowed for lots of nice-to-have features added alongside a pretty big Continental CD300 engine. An interesting fact is that this family of Continental engines started with the modification of the Mercedes-Benz OM6680, which could be found on Benz A-Class hatchbacks. We have already seen previous variants of the CD family on Diamond Twins, but the CD300 is the peak of aviation diesel engines. Its six cylinders produce 300 horsepower at 2300 RPM and burn just around 9 gallons per hour of cruise. Speaking about cruise, realistically, you'll get around 160 knots, while its maximum will be 180. And knowing that the DA50 stores 50 gallons of fuel, the range will be around 700 nautical miles. Is it enough? Let me know where you would fly this bird. Of course, Diamond doesn't skimp on modern technological advancements, so the G1000 NXI is included in the base configuration. But you can optionally equip it with a TKS de-icing system, air conditioning, oxygen masks, and dozens of other features. This all sounds great, but remember, we started this video claiming that this plane is the safest one out there. Well, now let's talk about that. As with all the bigger brothers of the DA-50, safety was put in the first place for this plane too. The fuselage itself is made stiff as a rock, but only where it's needed. This allows for some sort of a roll cage structure, where all the non-crucial parts of it are made to break in case of a rough landing thus absorbing the impact. But the roll cage will remain intact, protecting the pilots and passengers. Another crucial aspect is fire protection. By the way, did you know that there are more fatal accidents caused by fire after landing than by the impact itself? Well, I think it's worth mentioning that even if this bird might not have the most impressive useful load of 1,200 pounds, just remember that it's partially because of the tough, flexible stainless steel braided fuel lines, which are indeed heavier than aluminum ones, but are less likely to break and leak in case of impact. This, combined with other innovations introduced while thoroughly testing the fuselage, seats, tanks, landing gear, and virtually any other crucial component of the plane, made the Diamond hold the record of the fewest fatal accidents in general aviation. Oh, and of course, all diamonds come with a ballistic recovery system, and the DA-50 is no exception. In case of emergency, the large chute will land you safely and smoothly. Here is where it gets tricky. Remember we compared the size with the DA-62? The price for the DA-62 is $1.4 million, but the DA-50 costs $1.25 million. So, if you have a twin-engine license, maybe it's better to throw in an additional $150,000 and get more range and speed. I still haven't understood why they would practically cost the same, especially if you compare a new DA-50 to a 2- or 3-year-old DA-62. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into the Diamond DA-50, the safest single-engine airplane in the sky. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from above the clouds. Fly safe, and until next time!